Hello everyone. It's Elena with All Things by Faith. I am sitting in my driveway in this energy, very similar to the energy I was in last 4th of July. I don't know if you can hear the rifles sounding around me and all of the fireworks that are still going off. It's almost 11 p.m. on the 4th of July, 2021. I live in Northern Idaho. We're allowed to set off fireworks um, all around our neighborhood. It was much louder earlier, um, but I had a lot going on with family and um, we have a new baby this year, and so um, the energy was a bit different, and I had to really keep the warrior energy in check. Uh, everybody's gone in the house now, but I'm sitting here in the back of my car in my driveway with the, the uh, gate open on the rear, making this video, and I can steer, still hear all the rifles. And, um, you know, there's a lot that's been going through my mind. And for those of you who don't uh, know me, I have a lot of spiritual gifts. I hear through the veil. I see through the veil. Um, I have visionary gifts. I have, um, I hear clairaudiently. Um, I'm clairsentient, meaning I just get downloads of knowledge. Um, I just know things, in other words. Um, and I hear through the veil. And when I woke up this morning, I started hearing my um, warrior angels. We all have angels, okay? We all have angelic beings that are with us. And... We all also have ancestors at any given time that are with us, different things going on in our life, trying to help us. And, you know, last 4th of July, um, I did a video sitting in my driveway, sitting in the back of my car, just like this. But I, um, it was just, it was different. It was the same energy, but different energy. This year, my energy is, uh, it's very strong, and my warrior angels gave me some interesting songs, and um, one of them I've never even seen before or heard before, and um, they showed me some of the lyrics. They had me go online and pull it up. So I have that queued up for this video as well. But I want to share a couple of messages. Um, just one second. I'm getting kind of a message now. So... One of the things they wanted me to talk about, they gave me this message earlier today as well. Um, actually, they, they expounded on this message. Um, someone else shared this message with me. It was a message about the difference between liberty and patriotism. And, you know, I pondered that and... Um, you know, liberty is an unalienable right. It was given to us by God. You know, the freedom to choose, the freedom to pursue life, liberty, and happiness, and joy, and to protect our families. Um, and patriotism is being, you know, patriotic. It's more about um, standing up for your country and it's more about things of a political realm and this isn't a political video at all i'm not left i'm not right i'm about freedom and you know the last year 
a lot of our freedoms have been taken away and they have trampled on our Constitution and our Bill of Rights. They've trampled on our right to assemble. They've trampled on our freedom of speech. They've trampled on our... Well, they're trying to trample greatly on our right to bear arms, the Second Amendment, which shall not be infringed. I just heard that very clearly <laughs> uh, through the veil. Um, and these are very, this is very concerning to me and it should be concerning to everyone because what they continue to do, the political powers at play, um, they continue to try to pit us against one another as children of God. They do it across racial lines. They do it across political lines and it's all bullshit. Okay, I'm starting to get kind of a live download and live feed. That was from one of my, I believe that's a great uncle that I have. I hear him frequently when I get into warrior mood. Warrior mode. Um, he was a, uh, I believe he was a two-star general um, in World War One. And, um, I, you know, it, it's not okay for them to be doing this. It's not okay for them to be, um, spilling blood, I just heard, because there's been a lot of blood spilt. There's been a lot of innocence lost, a lot of innocence taken. And what I want everyone to understand and what the, what the other side wants you to understand is that this is a war but it's between right and wrong, between good and evil, and between truth and lies. It's not between left and right. It's not between black and white, or black and Indian, or, um, you know, or uh, Chinese against white people, or Japanese people against Native America. It's, the, the racial lines don't matter. We are all going to have to band together at some point to defend our liberties, to defend our God-given right to be here, to survive, to pursue life, liberty, and happiness, and joy in the way that we individually want to do that. Because these were rights and freedoms given to us by Heavenly Father. They were not given to us by a government. They cannot be taken away by a government. I just heard that very clearly. They cannot be taken away by any government, and we need to remember that. But while we're busy warring amongst ourselves, our government is doing horrific things, as is all governments worldwide. They're all part of a global cabal. They're all part of a, uh, they're all part, they're, and so are, okay, they're giving it to me really fast now. And so are these religious organizations. World leaders, uh, large world religions, um, billionaires, large corporations, they're all part of this plot, this global plot, to take our freedom from us, make us slaves in work camps, enslave us. They're already enslaving our minds with technology. Churches are enslaving our hearts. Um, we were not meant to be slaves. We were not meant to be slaves. 
your children, my children, were not meant to be slaves. Our ancestors were not meant to be slaves in any way, shape, or form. And the only way that we're going to be able to stop this from happening because we are in the, I don't like using the term anymore, the last days, but that's what most people are familiar with. We are, uh, I'd rather call it the tribulations. We are entering into and have already entered into the very beginning of the tribulations spoken of in scripture. Okay. So we have some really tough years ahead of us. You know, they're going to be controlling, they're already controlling the supply chains. We're going to start seeing shortages again, much worse than we did the first go around of COVID. Um, we're going to start seeing um, medical tyranny, you know, not being able to uh, shop, you know, if we don't have our shot, not being able to do, um, not being able to go to our place of work if we don't have a shot. And they're already starting this, this next round of COVID, which, oh, guess what? The shot that they're marketing now doesn't cover this new strain because there's thousands of strains. Okay. And it was created in a lab and it was unleashed by the powers of be upon us. And trust me, they have much more stringent strains, plagues that they have created that they will be unleashing upon us. So what the other side wants you to know is that we you know, have fought for our freedom before. My ancestors, your ancestors, want you to know that we've fought for our freedoms before and that history is about to repeat itself. It's going to repeat itself in a new cycle. It's going to look different than it has before, but it is the same war between good and evil. And we have to come together. We have to stop judging one another. We have to come together as children of a God that loves us and created us to be free. And along those lines, I'm going to play a little music here. This first song is called The Warrior Song. I guess it's a marine song. I've never heard it before. It's pretty long. I'm going to start it at this one uh, place. I'm going to read you what it says um, before I play it. Uh, if I can find <laughs> where it was. Um, okay, um, I'm going to start it at this one lyric. It says, I am a warrior, because this is where they told me to start it. It says, I am a warrior and this is my song. Hell has no demon I won't overcome. I am a warrior and this is my song. I'll make the devil himself turn and run. I am a warrior and this is my song. Into the fire I will keep marching on. Um, you know, I want you to know that we all have some form of warrior within us. We wouldn't be living now. They want you to know this, actually. We wouldn't be living now. We wouldn't be born in this time if we weren't fighters. Because there's a lot coming our way. We haven't seen anything yet, I just heard very clearly. We've seen nothing yet. But the more we allow them to take our freedoms, the more they will take them. So I'm going to play this. I know you guys will be able to hear it.
Okay, what they just showed me during that little bit of song, and you can flip the energy in any song, just so you know. You can flip the energy, and, you know, we will have a lot of people just like me who will stand up, who will take up arms, who will defend life and liberty. And many of them will be um, part of our armed forces, either retired or still in the forces, who will leave uh, the forces and fight for the freedoms of the individuals because unfortunately the government that we serve is very dark or the government that they serve I just said we because that's how they said it to me through the veil but the government is very dark the people of this country are amazing um, but you know, there's a lot of people still sleeping that need to wake up. And we will be able to overcome. And we will have angelic beings by our side when it comes down to taking up arms in defense of those who cannot defend themselves, in defense of our families, in, de in defending um, this nation from foreign invaders, in defending... Um, our own lives and the lives of others and it's okay to do that the Savior himself is a warrior I want to make that very plain and very clear the Savior is a warrior I made a video quite some time ago about this um, the other side I was in warrior mode and the other side was like do you think that Jesus Christ is not a warrior because I'm here to tell you he is a warrior and I'm saying it and repeating it again he is a warrior he is amazing and loving and he's atoned for us and we can accept that atonement and we can change our lives at any time but he is a warrior and I for one will be honored to take up arms in defense of my family and those in this nation who cannot defend themselves. Those who are being trafficked. Because human trafficking is real. Child trafficking is real. The trafficking of women and men that have been kidnapped and or born into it. That were actually bred to it or bred for it. That actually goes on. They show me horrific things through the veil. Satanic worship is very real. All of these things are very real. And in that song that I just played, you know, we have to be ready to know who we are to be able to, to not only take up arms to fight physically, but to take up spiritual weapons we have to know spiritual warfare. We have to know how to fight the demons because they're very real and they're going to be unleashed even more on this world in the coming years. And as I said, we are all warriors. We are all warriors. The next song they wanted me to play is, um, it's a military tribute. It's a song that I love. It's called Light em Up. We're just going to listen to a second of that. <laughs> Actually, as soon as the, there we go.
I know what the dark side does. I know what they do in the dark. I know how they use people. I know how they use us to fight one another. I know their plans. I know how they want to tear us apart and rip us apart. The line in that song says, my songs know what you did in the dark, so light them up. The adversary, Lucifer, knows that I know what he does in the dark and that I've been trying to wake people up. I almost died earlier this year because the dark side tried to take me out once again. They've been trying to take me out my entire life through accidents, illnesses, surgeries, childbirth, you name it. And I am not afraid and I will fight. And I'm asking all of you to prepare yourselves spiritually to break the bonds of religions that don't serve you, to come unto Christ and to realize that we all have very big missions ahead of us. It's not a joke. It's not a game. You can think I'm crazy and that's okay. I know I'm not. I know who I serve. I know the things that they show me through the veil are real. I know what the dark side does in the dark. And I'm not afraid of them. The next song they gave me, Creed Fisher, When You Come to Take Mine. Crime rates through the roof, and they're coming for the Second Amendment. Our forefathers, who were guided by God, were not interested in what type of weapons we had. They were interested in what type of government we might have to face. They were interested in giving us the means to defend ourselves. The Second Amendment is a very big issue. Even if you personally do not like guns, I would implore you to support our freedoms. Because a government that's tyrannical, that is taking freedoms, does not want the citizens of that country to be armed. And you can look at other countries that had their arms already taken from them, like the United Kingdom and Australia, for instance, China, and look at what they went through over the last year around this COVID bullshit. I'm going to keep playing the song. Shot one kill is such a thrill. That's the way that I was raised. When I pick up a gun, I hit right where I am. It's... And I want you to know, I'm blind in one eye. I'm a middle-aged woman. But when I pick up my gun... I hit what I aim at. I have no intention of giving up my guns to anyone. I'm hearing my ancestor again. They, he's saying they will have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. And that is the reality of it. Because if I am using a gun to defend myself, 
or my family, my children, or my grandchildren, they will literally have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. If I'm using it to defend those who are defenseless and cannot defend themselves, I will gladly lay down my life to defend that freedom that God has given us. It's not about this nation anymore for me. Because our government is just as disgusting as all the other governments in the world. They're all part of Lucifer's kingdom. It's not about right or left. It's not about the government. It's about people. It's about the children of our God on this planet. Red, white, black, purple, green, blue, I don't care. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. Okay, I'm going to keep playing the song. Time to take a stand. It's time to draw the line. You better bring yours when you come to take mine. Time to draw the line. Time to take a stand. You better bring yours when you come to take mine. You hear that, Mr. President? You come for my gun, you better bring yours. That's about it. This has been a long video. It's a much more serious one than I thought it was going to be earlier in the day. I know these were some harsh messages. I know a lot of you are going to think I'm insane, but I'm not. I wish I was. I wish none of this was real. I wish that I could click my heels, they're showing me, like Dorothy, and just go back to Kansas and get out of Oz. But Oz has become the reality, they just said. Oz has become our reality. We're living in an upside down world where right is wrong and wrong is right. And they're trying to convince us of it. And they're convincing us, more of us every day, of lies and stupidity. We need to wake up. We need to come together. On this 4th of July, that is my prayer. That we can wake up, that we can come together, and that we can know without a doubt that we are supported by a loving Heavenly Father who wants us to preserve our freedoms, protect those who cannot protect themselves, and not be afraid to go home to Him if need be. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I mean them. I heard them clearly through the veil. And I speak truth, whether you want to believe it or not. Have a good 4th of July.